Hello, 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 everybody. What happened to my BGF? Are they? Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome in. Welcome. Happy Saturday. This is your dream in GGG. <laughs> dream weaving inside the Sega Saturn. Then. <laughs> By Mama Amya Aranya. And I thought it'd be cool to, to just make like a music player esque looking thing uh, for um, like a sadder music player esque looking thing for the listen along. And um, I think I accidentally made it way too big. Like, like. <laughs> It's kind of like I'm scaring way too much of my face, but it kind of looks like I'm in a spaceship or yeah, like I'm a DJ in like a cosmic thing. It looks awesome. I think it does look awesome. Um, uh, uh, yabba dabba dabba Thank you, Noah, for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please say thank you to Noah if you got one. Uh, thank you so much, Lupus and Gento and Noah and Rioting Soul and Heart and Turbo and Finite Set and Akatsuki for the blue super chats while I was in the bathroom uh, and Red Ranger as well. Um, yours, thank you so much for joining the membership. For the first time, I appreciate that very much. Welcome in. Um, Siesta, thank you so much for the four months. DJ Ami time. Well, not really. It's not... There's no discs. There's no physical discs. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's nothing crazy, but... But it's gonna be fun, cozy music listening time. Yeah. Noah, thank you for the 27 months. Uh, I mean, it's finally at the only place that isn't corrupted by buckles. Space. That's right. Um. Yeah. Sega Saturn, yeah! So, um, I like drew this. I kind of started. I have my window open, so I'm like. Making sure people aren't yelling at me from outside or something. <laughs> um. I, I started making this like 30 minutes before stream. So, um, I was very rushed. So I thought I was a little bit, a little bit, a little bit late. Uh, fun fact about the Saturn CD player if you hit the OSD 3D spaceship with flying rendering playback. Yeah, I think we tested that with my Saturn, didn't we? Um, welcome everyone. Happy Saturday. Uh, new laptop is working great. Although I drew this on my streaming computer, not on my laptop. My laptop is still... I don't have like my tablet driver set up and really I don't have space on my desk. Because my old PC stuff is still like on my desk. So once I get my hard drive and stuff tomorrow, I'm gonna... I'm going to uh, reorganize everything. She's flying a game console. Segata <laughs> Sanshiro will be proud. Segata Sanshiro! Um, happy Saturn day! Um, I, I was trying to think about, like, um... What I could do for, like, a music player kind of thing. At first I was like, maybe I could do, like, a like a Discman. And just, like, have the, the title scrolling, like, in the LCD screen. But then I was like, well, drawing a Discman seems hard. And then I would want to put the spinning disc somewhere. And that would be way too much of a freaking, uh... Uh, you know, undertaking. And then I kept thinking and thinking and thinking, and then I was like... This! The Saturn one! And did you guys know that there was a Saturn 3DS theme? Which I had no idea about, but that's so cool. I would have totally gotten it. Um, someone asked me what my favorite 3DS theme was a little while ago. And I don't know, but... It would definitely be this, this Saturn music player one. <laughs> um... Alright, uh, let me say hi to everyone, and then... We can get started! Spoilers for the first... Song there, you guys can like already kind of see it. Uh, see you thanks for the 27 months! Happy Saturn Day! Um... Sega Satan Shiro! Sega Tasan Shiro! Uh, the Sega 3DS themes, they have sounds of the consoles. That's so cool, I had no idea! It plays Super Sonic Racing from Sonic R. Yeah, I was watching a video of it. Yeah, the first song is Bonkles, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> it's gonna be lit. Ooh, I'm so excited. I was not just listening to Bonkles. No, no, no. This is the first song on the playlist. Koshi, thanks for the 27 months. Hi. <laughs> Alright, let me say hi to everybody and then we can get going. Oh, also. Um... 
you know, something really cool is that, um... Sendico prepared my package and got it all ready, so it's gonna ship soon. So I'm gonna get my freaking, uh... Uh, 3DO soon. I'm gonna get my PC Engine soon. And, uh, they even included some Game Boys that they had around. So I can paint some Game Boys and stuff and do some mods. So, I'm very, very excited for that. And also my Casio Picky Talk, Super Picky Talk. But, I think mean, nobody cares about that. <laughs> Maybe, except me. And then, and then, and then, and then... I ordered a, um... Uh, what was it? What was it? I didn't get the monkey lighter. No mug roof, you can lie. Excellent, yes. Um, and then, um, I ordered... Not pizza, no. I ordered a flash cart... For... My... Sega Master System. And... Um... What about the morning list of my zipples? I'm pretty sure those are like, homemade... Fake. You know, the Fakey Talk is awesome. Uh, and then, uh, I also ordered a flash cart for... Uh, uh, the who cards, who cards, or whatever for the PC engine. So we're gonna have a lot, a lot, a lot of fun when that stuff finally gets to me. The Sega Master System flash card should be here soon. Um, I am playing a Sega Master System game this week. I'm playing Alex Kid. Um, but that won't that won't be on my Master System. But then when I get to the rest of the Alex Kid games, I will be playing those on original hardware. So very, very, very exciting. All right, I'm finally gonna say hi to everyone. <laughs> Hello, Cyber Soldier, and Cloudy, and Turbo, and Salty Sid, and Nope, and Shadow B, and Psycho, and Zero Route, and Gildrian, and Hello, Kevin, and Nugget, and Megu Solo Megu, and Iron Stag, and Heart, and Tamascus, and Zephyr, and Wilbur Dog, and Hello to Blau, and New Salad, and Seek, and Sturm, and DJ, and Noah. And Akatsuki, and JD Assassin, and Konki, and Scup, and Hello Mephi, and... Uh, Hero, and Pudstorm, and Deathwind, and ZR, and Gento, and Ayumu. Um, so you mean Alex the Kid? No. <laughs> there is a tweet like that that was like, um... Mandela Effect! Turns out it's not called Alex the Kid! And I'm like, literally nobody thought it was called Alex the Kid. <laughs> Is this interaction bait or whatever they call it? I hear the Turbo Everdrive Pro does CD games, yes. Should be well set from PC Engine then. Um, I... I uh, as far as I know... Um... As far as I know... You can just play... Like... Learned. <laughs> learned. Uh... Games... On the... The PC Engine. Yeah. Um... Oh gosh, where was I in my hellos? I had just gotten... Here! Here we go, here we go. Um, hello Nintendo and Retech and Kendrick. Yes, yes. <laughs> And I said Kendrick and Goldheart Dragon and Railgun. Only my Railgun catch you, Lady Masuko. Uh, you never heard anyone call Alex the Kid, me either. But then someone in the Discord called it Alex the Kid, and I was like, oh, maybe that is a thing. <laughs> uh, his best game was the one that was probably meant to be a Shinobi game. I love the Alex Kid games. Love them. Oh, and. I had no idea about this, but the Sega Master... I need to get through Hellos before freaking out about stuff. But the Sega Master System is backwards compatible with the Sega... The SG-1000 games. So... I'm very happy that I'm gonna be able to play some SG-1000 games too. That would be cool. Um... Someone asked me recently if I was gonna get an SG-1000. Because I don't have to. Uh, hello, big guy. Hello, Nicholas Cage. Hello... Um... Meow Spark and Rhea, and hello to uh, Lurkers and Vaughn Watches, and JT Stompy, and Jeremy, and Indecisive, and Android, and Peppermint, and Mad Vin, and Rabbit Bunny Man, and Lupus, and Hussar. Oh, uh, you have a surprise Pathfinder game. Ooh, have fun. We're playing. <laughs> you played Blanc's Adventure and Revenge for the first time was a less franchise. I played, I played, uh, what did I play? Super Blanc? Something like that. Uh, you know so much about retro consoles, these buzzword. I'm making this buckle dizzy. If you guys don't ever know what I'm talking about, you can just ask. SG-1000 is like the console that came before the uh, Master System. <laughs> only, I believe it, uh, I'm almost... Po I'm 99% sure it was only released in Japan. 99%. Um, but maybe in Europe or something it was, I don't know. 
Hello, Lupus and Hussar and uh, Electronic Pig and hello to Finite Set and Sven and Rioting Soul and hello to Lammire and Red Ranger and hello K7 and Mauricio and Don Zero and Plenum and Bran. Uh, Sega didn't advertise the consoles backwards compatibility much for some reason. Yeah, and it's pretty epic. <laughs> it's pretty epic that they did that. Um. Hello, Smoker Megan Drive, and Marv, and Jazz Bass, and hello to GP, and Chrome Davis, and Bionic Hippo, and Lazm, and Kyoko, and Knight, and Cyrus, and Kai B. Uh, the Master System was originally the Sega Mark III, so it's got SD1000 bits in there. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, I don't even. I have no idea what games were on the SD1000. Uh, back then you didn't have to advertise backwards compatibility at all. Yeah, I maybe mean, it was just like expected, I guess. Um, hello Uncle Red, hello Mathemus, and Bigger Dan, and Alpaca, and Puck Puck, and Ohamia Pyri, and Seth Rain, and Fanology, and Koshi, and Min Max, and hello to Temple Paradox, and... Oh, I just got skipped big time. I just got skipped around in my tent. Um... We don't really submit much anymore. Uh, God, I keep skipping. You don't really submit much anymore because they're usually too many to get through anyway. Well, now I started doing like random random drawings, so you know there's still a chance that we'll we'll, we'll get to you as if you submit something. I'm sorry, it's really it's really difficult to do these streams because like there's so much <laughs> there's so much, and I, I could if I if I could I would stream for you know eight hours and listen to every song everyone wants me to hear, but. Um, hi Phoenix and uh, CDI Link and Yuzu and hello Naznobor and Big Simp and Gael and um, C Line and hello Vegito and Alejandro. Um, hello Coltane and Mr. Beardy Face and Cosmic Spear and Fuzzy Ducky and Esperit. Hello to Old Dean and Stinky Alp and Chicken Bone. And hello to Mr. Elemental. Yeah, that's what the radio show is for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Elemental, hello, Bike and Cabooses and Chaos Muffins and Siesta and Ohamia to Zilla Master and Mr. Front and hello to Riley and Claudio and I love the Sega Saturn too. Hello, Rapture Queen. Hello, um, Riel. Um, hello, Rogi and Axel, and... Uh, Ohamiya to Roy, and Zehutsume, and Fiero, and Spicy Cyborg, and... Uh, oh boy... And Absolute Link, and... Uh, Roger, and hello, Backslash, and hello, Sora, and Bolero, and Ohamiya Slingo, and Benzine, and hello to Rosa Kanan and Cheese, and Korilu, and hello, Fail Lord, and I'm doing well. Hello, Emmanuel. Uh, who else got the new YouTube layout? You can't see the stream infos unless you close the chat. Like, on mobile? Me? Yeah. Um, hi, Kayla. Hi, Demon Spawn. I think that's everyone. Hi, guys. Uh, random drawing is devastating. You spend five hours picking a tune and for nothing. Well, my only advice would be to try not to spend five hours picking a tune in that case. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I feel like that's a very, very, very huge amount of time to spend trying to pick a song. Um, hi, Zephyr. You already listen to far more songs on one stream than other streamers. You listen to songs this stream. They are a lot of work. It's hard on the ears, you know. Eventually, everything starts sounding like the same. So, it's really tough. It's tough. Four hours max. Um, Alright, well, shall we get to it? Oh! One thing I wanted to say, um, I haven't seen you have to, so it's one submission per user. Someone has been trying to circumvent this. And the reason I know is because they submitted their submissions one after the other, and they put um, a big ASCII art in all of them. Okay, so don't do that. I disqualified all of your entries because you're a bad buckle, okay? If you want to get anything played, eh? Then don't do that. <laughs> Didn't expect it picked at that point. I just felt obligated to submit. Don't feel obligated. There's always plenty of stuff, you know? 
Everything is Pac-Man. Bleep, 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 bleep. Yes, the submission was before the stream. It's all, always, 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 always before the stream. Always. I... Uh, time out? Well, I can't time them out because... Oh, you mean like... Time out, you've been bad, bad buckle. <laughs> Don't give away your advanced detection techniques. Well, I'm just letting them know that they have to only submit one if they want to get anything listened to because I um disqualified all of their entries. So uh, trick is including a picture of a cinnamon roll with the song submission. <laughs> no. No, I cannot be bribed. It's picked randomly with random numbers. Alright. Marv Merv and Morv are totally different people. <laughs> Somebody's onto my Chun Li alt. That'd be that'd be really funny if there was a Chun Li. I'd be like, really? <laughs> to the naughty buckle corner. You just submitted once. Well, you're only able to submit once. Somebody like made more emails and submitted more times, and then and then they did it all three in a row, and then. I guess I don't know if they thought that. <laughs> I don't know if they thought that I'm. I just wouldn't notice that they put big spider-related ASCII art in all of their submissions, which is very cute. But you can't you can't do that. Um, you did submit something twice because you use the default suggestion form first and then repeated the proper one. That's fine. I only I only go to the proper form for these streams. So, um, all right. Shall we listen? This first song is... Um, there is no name by its submitted by and no description, but it's from, um, Bionicle's Heroes. I don't know what this is. Like, I don't know what this is. What system it's on or whatever. Um... You goofed on your submission too? You were able to go back and edit it. Uh... There were different forms. Well, there's my regular suggestion form, and then I set up a separate one for VGM because uh, for VGM listen along because it's easier to keep track of everything. Hi, Mystique. Um, all right, shall we listen? It's on GameCube. Okay, I wonder what kind of game it is. Thumbs up this stream if I should play a Bionicles game at some point. All right, let's listen. <laughs> Very tribal sounding. Which makes sense to me from what I know about uh my articles from the movie we watch. <laughs> it's too loud, yeah, I turned it down. Is it still too loud, eh? Bunkles and their nuis and matas and all their Japanese sound and stuff. Hi, Bungle! It's rock and roll and it's like tribal feeling. It's really cool. This is reminding me of something. Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> the, um... The, the, like, ending theme with the, with the jazz singer. <laughs> Just the, the main melody. You know what I mean? I can eat it. And the... Oh yeah, I hear the brass too. Right in draws his blade. I feel like this could be right in Metal Gear Solid if it weren't for the like... Tribal like flute kind of stuff. <laughs> Sons of Lego T of Metal Gear Bonk. Snake Kitty remix to this. I think the the song the the vocal theme from Metal Gear Solid 2 would be cool. What's the date of cut? Date of cut? What does that mean? <laughs> There's no cutoff this time. It, this time it was free, so people could submit from whatever year they wanted to. Never expected the Legos to go this hard. I'm just like amazed that Lego really did a smart thing with the Bonkles. I mean, we watched like a documentary about it, but they basically like restarted their whole like brand um, off of Bonkles. No. 
Yeah, no vocals. He could have submitted guilt Guilty Gear Strive songs. It's all about read. Buckles. Gotta read. <laughs> To read. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't keep it in any longer. Please read. You're <laughs> setting a pretty high bar. I know, I know. Are you looking at your ceiling? No, I mean, look above me. Whoa. I never expected it to change just late into the song. Oh, yeah, maybe this is like a loop. Maybe this already happened. Eh? Read the freaking manual. <laughs> It's fundamental, yeah. You wish you had a brain to comprehend characters? Fish have brains, they're just small. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe fish are secretly very smart. Do fish have brains? They have to. <laughs> I'm not too. It's kind of James Bond esque, except for the like jungle stuff that's going on. Very cool. Very cool. I'm surprised they went that hard for a Bonko game, but also amazed. Alright, let's move on to the next song. It says, this project is a tribute to the famous MSN game music composition. Game is Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Ready we some suggestions here? Let me put this note up. Oh, the visuals for this are really cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna pin this and then if anyone asks about it, I will ignore. <laughs> better with the video. The video is really cool. Let me try and capture it for you guys real quick. Hold on. Yeah. That does look cool. So this is... Oh, it is a remake. Okay, I see. Because I was like, this sounds pretty freaking hard for MSX unless they somehow got like CD audio. Metal Gear? I guess I shouldn't cover the title. We can play it here. Wait it, but now I want to hear the original. This is an OP animation though. Yeah, but it's cool. I want to show it. I... I... Um... I, I keep forgetting that there's a Metal Gear too. Oh, speaking of Metal Gear... Oh yeah, um, I forgot to read. So it says Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Uh, and this was submitted by Vile. There is no, um... Some of you guys didn't write descriptions, which is fine, but... I'm trying to keep up with it on the forum, so... Remind me to check if I have it. The first one did not have a name or any description associated with it. Mel, you're too with great music in general. You guys, I ordered an MRE. I ordered an MRE. I I ordered. I don't. Should I keep the kind quiet? It's a it's a Canadian one. And. Whoa! There's a lady's voice. Yeah. So, um, whenever I get it, I'm gonna play uh Ghost Babble. This music Whoa! Oh my god, I love the vocals. Poutine I'm already... I didn't get the poutine one because that sounded awful to be honest. <laughs> So cool. What year? Um, I'm not sure. I hope. I hope it's not that old. I don't know if it's inspired though. <laughs> the Cold War is over. Nuclear threat is gone. But peace is not embraced by all. God, the art is exquisite. Zanzibar land forms a military government and starts invading nearby countries. You gotta start 
goes badly yourself on Tuesday when your analog clock it arrives. I can't wait. But you know, um, after I ordered it, it was like it may take up a month to process because we have to transfer it from our US warehouse. And I was like, this is what I was trying to avoid in the beginning. <laughs> but whatever. It was still cheaper than any of the other places I found, so. The Kiyomar of engineers the microorganism Oilix, which excretes high quality oil. That sounds kinda great. Family mixes are not cheating. No, there was no um there was no restrictions this time on, on what could be submitted. No, it's totally fine. Um you got documents for that dehydrated cheese powder? No, no, it's not gonna be a problem. It's not gonna be a problem. It's a... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's, um, it's an... It's an, an uh, Ami Planet, uh, company. Isn't Oilix that guy from Star Trek Voyager? Do you mean, uh, what is his name? To, 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 uh, um... Neelix. <laughs> I almost said Tuvix, like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> like uh the the fusion of the two of them. That was super cool. Now I wanna play that game. Um, next song is from Command and Conquer, remastered. Just do it up. Do it do it do it up. As you can see, sorry, I just say I did just say two like five times, didn't I? <laughs> okay, let's listen. I you know. You know, I had a couple songs submitted from Command & Conquer games in the past three forms, and I think people must really have an affinity for them. Um, they're all very... It's kind of like spot, like spiral music. Not in the way that it sounds, but in a way that they're so stylistically consistent. Do you know what I mean? They're all like very, very similar. No, not in a bad way. They're just thematically... Uh, cohesive, I guess. Yeah. Sorry for bonking you guys. Frank Klapassi. Yeah, I guess if it's just one person who did it all. It's so modern sounding at the time. It really is. It reminds me of like ATV off Road Fury type of stuff. <laughs> just do it up. Some people grew up on Hell March. Some people grew up on a lot of these Command and Conquer songs, it sounds like. Whoa, what's happening? Electronic interference, eh? Okay. Oh yeah, that beast. Our kids are big in the 90s, so a lot of people feel nostalgic about them and remember them fondly. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I was just commenting on how, uh... How, like, similar and, like, cohesive I think the soundtracks are. It's cool. It's designed to ride that line between 80s, 90s, cool and cheesy. It works well with the cheesy SMVs in the game. It sounds like you could hear it in... Again, I don't mean this in a bad way. In like, a Pringles commercial. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean this in the best way possible. <laughs> Pringles music. This is the Pringles genre. <laughs> Unable to comply. Building in progress. I'm gonna pretend that it's a lady. I know it's oddly specific, but... Pringles commercials did use that kind of... music. Um... Hi, uh, Wolf Gage Mozart. Welcome. Oh, oh, okay. Dance there. That's quite a, a short song. Pretty cool. I wonder what happens in the game. Does it, like, move on to another, um... Does it, like, move on to another song right away? Or does it just kind of... I don't know. Loop the same song or... Oh, Akatsuki! Thanks for the gift of membership! Uh, appreciate that. Make sure you say thank you if you're the one who got that. Music to lick chip seasoning to... You know, Pringles are not even that good to lick. They're weak on the seasoning. I talked about this, but... Uh, thank you for your submission. Let's go on to the next song. It says... Um, from Overload, a spiritual sequel to the Descent series from the 90s by the original developers. They managed to get the original composers on board, and the soundtrack of the game... <laughs> ...feels like tracker music with higher fidelity than was possible back in the day. This one is Alistair Brimble, who's been doing game music, music for the Amiga and PC ever since the late 80s. Wow! That's pretty cool. That they're still doing their thing. <laughs> The original CNC had a playlist so you could pick a song. Oh my god, just like Tony Hawk. 
Rainbows are the only ones you've licked. I mean, that's... I mean, they're terrible for licking, but... It's kind of all they're good for at the same time. Hostility, 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 hostility. <laughs> There's no spaces in this title. They signed along with Overload just as Overwatch is coming out. Wait, is that true? Still love it on your two playlists? What kind of game is it? A spiritual sequel to Descent. Oh! A fortunate pause. Wait, what did they say? <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> um, it's not thematic, uh, and you missed it on my Twitter and on my community tab, and it was probably form is also probably posted to the Discord. Pretty much everywhere it could possibly be uh, signposted. I did that, <laughs> and I talked about it on stream too. Hi, Lord Sinke. Allow me to be a little bit sassy, okay? <laughs> I still want to play a Tony Hawk game sometime. Adding spaces takes away space for hostility. It's very appropriate, isn't it? Don't worry about it. Okay. This was like a decade ago. No! Overwatch did not come out a decade ago. Yeah, 2016 Overload is 2018. <laughs> it cannot be contained. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> oh, my stash. Right, right, right. Why are you only down there telling me? It's not. 2016 is not 10 years ago. <laughs> okay, pretty close is not the same as being 10 years ago. Sorry, I'm not commenting on this music at all. I'm kind of just vibing to it. It's very... I don't know if it gives me like Descent Space vibes. But it is very epic. But then again, I don't know what this game is like at all. Can't help but wonder about the MCA. Um, you can replace the uh, soundtrack or like turn, just turn them off in those games. That's kind of got the Doom kind of heavy metal kind of vibes. Same composer, Alistair Brimble. Yeah, they mentioned that in the description. Feels serious, not just heroic big mission coming up. Yeah, it feels daunting. Descent with very modern graphics. My tongue is going crazy again. I don't understand why. Descent minus the BS enemy balancing. This thing is really hard. Eh? X kind of eyes we said three times or more this team. I'll try and I'll try and mix it up. It's not as upbeat as I would expect for hostility, but it's cool. Let me like go slower, more serious. Oh, you just mean that name hostility, I guess. If you're going to like a hostile planet, you know, it kind of fits. Mm -hmm. Give me a guitar solo. I mean, I, I want it. Shame is a financial failure. Oh, was it? I guess it's on so many people's wish list, like you guys said. Bunch of bunch of you guys are like, I don't know my wish list, but I never played it. Well, maybe that was just one person. <laughs> yeah, my tongue keeps going off. <laughs> Cute lamb, thank you, thank you. It's not because I'm like mm -hmm, uh, hostility. <laughs> the fact that I got me was triumph enough, yeah. I think so. I think it's hard for spiritual successors. You kind of gotta like market it as its own thing because people are gonna be like, Descent, why do I care? What the heck is that? Like, if they've never played Descent. That's true, like an overwhelming sense of hostility from the environment. Yeah, yeah. You remember the Kickstarter? Did, did, they, meet their, did they meet their goal? Meow, meow. <laughs> hostility towards buckles. Yeah, Descent... I don't know if Descent was niche, but like... I played a lot of DOS games when I was younger, and I, I never played Descent when I was younger. Cool. Very hostile. Very spooky sounding. The next one is from Rain, and this is from Age of Wonders. Um, no description about this line. I don't know what kind of game this is. So, 
sounds pretty compressed, like, uh... Sounds like... Huh... Horrex Fantasy? Why is this on? Because it sounds compressed in, like, a strange way. I mean, it's definitely, like, not... See, the audio is, like... Midi or whatever. So relaxing and soothing. Well, dosh. Eh? PC? Okay, that makes sense. Eh? Yeah, it is a Sega Saturn menu. Yeah, the music player one. I made it before stream today. Hi, GXA player. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go we'll find beats to farm cabbages and pay taxes to the king to his house. This game is about. Compressed or not, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that it's compressed. It's just like... Clearly not CD audio, so... Uh, I was just trying to guess the age based on that, I guess. Michael Vanderboss also composed music for Unreal Tournament. Ah... Yeah. <laughs> Mia Vibes, kind of. Age of Wonders, what kind of game is it? Oh no, I accidentally skipped. I think it went back though, so... We'll just listen to it again. It's FM Tracker. Okay, that's what I thought. It was like FM, kinda... Feeling. Uh, Age of... Wonders. It's an RTS. Turn-based strategy, I see. 1999 by Triumph and Epic Mega Games. <laughs> RTS turn based. Yeah, it says turn based strategy. It's originally developed under the name World of Wonders in 1997. See, that's what I like about these streams too. Is like while we're vibing to the music, I can learn about some of these games. Get game ideas. Yeah. Maybe the later ones for RTS. Because I see, I see up to Age of Wonders. Four. It says 4x though, so... It says turn-based as well, so... I guess 4x doesn't necessarily mean it's turn-based, but... Takes you back to CDI Tetris, calming elevator music. It's definitely like... That is how I ended up playing Rusty. It's definitely like, um... Relaxing in the same way as the, the like, genre... Why is it pretty different? It's like a jungle or desert. I think it's just like a forest in the mountains. Do you think it will? It's enchanting. Whoa! It's pretty. It's like very. It's kind of like fantasy renaissance, but then my freaking tongue. But then, there's something like more modern... About the way the particular instruments sound, like very... Very like, synthy 80s, but also... The, the like, rhythm and like, the progressions are kind of like, uh... Medieval sounding. Do you feel like you're underwater? It definitely uses the same instrumentation as things like, uh... You know, the Don the Donkey King. Water levels have very similar instrumentation, like the strings and the bells. But I see why you would feel that way. Peaceful but somber. <laughs> yeah. It's very pretty. Hi, Bambi. Mario 64 underwater vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a list with the songs already featured? Uh, no, but I'll post a playlist after the stream. Play at your funeral? <laughs> that means such a sad song to play at a funeral. <laughs> People will be like, what is this? <laughs> Can I touch and Janitor? Why don't snow levels always have good music? I agree. I love the snow levels with the bells and stuff. It's so lovely. I love the Mega Man Legend. Uh, ah! <laughs> I love the Mega Man Legends uh, snow area music. It's very nice. Um, like when you're out in the field. I don't know specifically which one. Sorry about that. I had to boost up that last one because it was real quiet. But this one is... 
So this is um, from uh, Challengers from Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Uh, it was never re-released due to being plagiarized from the song Hunting High and Low by Stratovarius. And I listened to the Stratovarius song and it was... identical. <laughs> but I have to say, I kind of like the... I kind of like the Budokai one better. I played the Bajibas out of Budokai. You know I had that game. <laughs> I thought it was so cool. Oh, I'll be honest, uh, the music doesn't really... The music didn't really, like, stick in my head all that much. Like, I don't remember this song. Buckles can go Super Saiyan. Yeah. Who was my favorite? Like, to play in Budokai. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, if Chunks was in it, it was probably Chunks, because I love Chunks. <laughs> Budokai stream when? I can stream Budokai. I think I have it somewhere. Um. Hi, Oman. That's the issue with this brain of potential hard rockets. I believe it's forgettable. I'm not. I don't think that's forgettable, but to me, it just kind of reads as like. It's very... It's very background music. And it was probably played really low in the game. Like, low volume as well, so... Feel music with the whiplash of the scene as you smash out of the coffin to face him. I'm just kind of Omnicore. He's cool. He has a sword. I don't know why. I think it's so cool. But okay, composer Kenji Yamamoto is known for ripping off music from real artists. Oh. <laughs> um... Yeah, they, they really Dragon Ball Z applied this well. It sounds great. He's like, plays after you beat your childhood rivals and become lifelong friends with flexing and handshaking. Just like you, Mio. <laughs> Hi, Mom. He's a dork who wants to impress Goku just like Ami. I don't care about impressing Goku. I'll impress Goku. Goku and I can like go to a restaurant and then I'll impress him by like... Uh, my, 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 my eating power. <laughs> Budokai Tenkai G3 had ridiculously large roster at the time. I don't think I got to Tenkai G3. I think I just had Budokai 1 and then the one after. Very cool. Unfortunate that they were not able to reuse it. I'd be interested to hear the song they replaced it with. Ah, uh, thank you for your submission. Um, alright. Next one... is... Battle 2 from Fate Extra. Incredibly funky song for what is glorified rock, paper, scissors <laughs> gameplay. Uh, from Esper's. Funk, 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 oh! Well, you know what it is. You know I love the funk. The sound of my original sound more like power metal. Yeah, I was reminded of um the, the last song, the, the one that it ripped off. I was reminded of like through the fire. <laughs> I said funk! No, no, I said funk! Uh, F-U-N-K, don't funk with my heart. <laughs> Party bass! Oh, yeah. This should have all Grinch Racer? I did that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Spider and I funkin'. Rock, paper, scissors is almost like submission was foreshadowing here, Alex Kid's stream. Oh yeah, the, Al the rock, paper, scissors sections in Alex Kid are total BS. I hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna be so angry. Wow! I love it. Yeah. Squibbly. Squibbly versus... Ghibli or whatever. <laughs> Ghibli versus Ghibli. I still had tons of the music and you even made the boring dungeons a blast. Yeah, if you're gonna have like... Well, is it like dungeon crawling? If you're gonna have that kind of stuff... You gotta have some good music. <laughs> like something from them Capcom beat em up. It reminds me of... I don't even know, but if you ask me to guess what game this was, I would have not guessed a game in the fate. 
Mostly because, um, in my brain, the Fate series games are still, like, uh, visual novels. Hi, MXS! The thing with those games is almost like a good chunk of budget went to the music, which I approve. I approve. And that's the thing, is I always say this about Sonic too. It's like if you're gonna have a Sonic game, at least make it have banging music and Sonic 4 failed. Yeah, like Persona, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the next one is Castlevania. Um, it says Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. I absolutely love this song as a kid. It's still one of my favorite tracks from the whole Castlevania franchise. And this is from Megu Solo Megu. Your submission. <laughs> from Dawn of Sorrow. Now you sent Persona 2 and then it made sense. Fate, hi. Yeah, I was from Fate X. Yeah. This time signature is so fun. If this is a non-standard time signature... Okay, it's just 3... 3, 4. I think. That's not that crazy. Megu. I didn't say solo Megu, maybe. Oh no, it changed. Oh god! I don't know why, but some non standard time signatures really mess with my brain. Sonic games always have good music. No, Sonic 4 didn't. <laughs> it switched, yeah. It's cool. Fine. I agree. I don't know. Something about it. <laughs> I like it though. It gives like a good feel. If you don't pay too much attention. If you're just like listening to the music and not paying so much attention to the rhythm. But for some reason, there's something in my brain that really focuses on the the time signature. The Star Series that reminds me who's here checked out the solar eclipse. Oh. Did someone become Dracula? Oh, you steal them away. Is that what, is that what happened? There's a big moon in the background. I know this game not because I played it, but because um of that one game cover that's like the best the the greatest hits or whatever. The cover inside the cover. Feels natural despite it being non-standard. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and there we got the freaking uh Dracula-esque arpeggios. That's not a solar clip, she just has a big head. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, the cover inside a cover. Have you never seen that? Let me show you. Son of Sorrow. Greatest. Okay. So we're trying to get you to listen to the Zappa weird time signature song. It made you feel physically uneasy. Like, I saw things like that. Oh, here it is. And then let's put that inside another one, you know? Um, so this one is Arkan Iron Strategy. The great track 05 has no such connections in game, but I've always associated this track with Rain for some reason. And this one is from Android. Here, look at this. Konami's best. <laughs> Iron strategy. You say Apex point weird time signatures don't affect me. Oh my god. Um Yo man, thanks for the super chat. Um please read the uh pin message. Uh what was I gonna say? Uh oh gosh, I lost my train of thought. Oh Apex Twin, you know that um you know the Apex Twin song? I don't know what it's called. But the video was called Rubber Johnny. And I had like seen that before there was music added to it. Like online. And it was very scary. Come to Daddy, that's the one. I did see that version, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I mean. I don't know how to like. To like make me feel bad about having submissions closed because I really do. 
I'm not saying that's what you're trying to do. But I really do try and like... Post it everywhere and like talk about it. <laughs> on stream. I... Whenever possible, so... The Rubber Johnny video... Oh, Come to Annie is a different track. Oh yeah, that is that is another one with a very strange video. Do a good job of getting a message out, don't worry, thank you. The Rubber Johnny video is Big Mom, cause yeah, and I saw like a version of that before it had music. It's very strange. Oh, listen to the phasing. Oh my god, the cover of this game says play and win a tank driving course. <laughs> Can you imagine? I wonder who won that. You know, like, 14 year old. You get to drive a freaking tank if you win the contest. Very smooth. I like the very clean, like, guitar stuff. Same person on the Final Fantasy VIII Toyota. Wait, <laughs> why would it be the same person? Like winning a day with Lara Croft. You win the you win the code that makes your ghost start. <laughs> that reminds me of Final Hill music. To me, it feels a little fast, but I understand the vibes with like the guitar and stuff. How far is this? Is PC? So yeah, CD audio, CD ROM. And then we get the like ph phasing again. Love you stream so far. More songs added to my VGM playlist. Yay! Um, I'll post the playlist. It's on Lister right now, but I'll post the playlist for the for this stream after. Some chill songs in NMH. Uh, no, no, no more heroes. <clears throat> okay, so this next one is. Uh, this is from C-Line, um, Mech Warrior o 2 OST, Pyre Light. The entire soundtrack for Mech Warrior 2 stands on its own. Uh, it's a wild mix of orchestral and electronic sounds that could only have come out of the mid-90s. Let's freaking go. I love it. I already love the chord progression. Crazy Carrie. I've been talking about the movie Carrie a lot lately. This reminds me of when they go crazy Carrie, crazy Carrie. <laughs> Says 31st century combat. And the robot looks awesome. I love that so many of you guys submitted retro games even though there was no such stipulation this time. Sasuka <laughs> Buckles. Yeah, the dirty pillows. Watch along. We can watch along on Halloween. We can do some Stephen King horror movie watch alongs on Halloween. That sounds like a good idea. And it also kind of... It's very, very spooky. also kind of gives me like... Nightmare Before Christmas kind of feelings like that. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. I remember discovering that this is playing Red Book CD audio on a disc and listening to it for hours. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Just discovering you can just like listen to the music from a game. Yes, people submitted them on YouTube, um... Because... That's the easiest way for me to be able to listen to them. I, I specifically asked for them to be submitted on YouTube. I remember upgrading the RAM on my system to play this. Really? Oh my god. This is why I love these streams. I love these stories that you guys have, eh? Two peaceful tracks from mech games in a row. That is interesting. And these submissions were actually in a row. Like, I mean, it was random pick, but some somehow I got like four in a row that were like one after the other. All right, this one is the game is Lotus Three, a great racing game and soundtrack submission from Marv. <laughs> Sounds like one of them toys that goes. <laughs> Those <are> ones. <laughs> <laughs> I 
according to his event combat game, but the gameplay is one. Not Tim Allen! No! <laughs> no, the toys! They're sticks! And the gameplay is very slow and delivered to the more chills. Oh my god, this is scary. No, it's not a slide whistle. No, it's not Tim Allen! <laughs> It's not the Grave Stomp Lady either. It's. Uh, 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 it's a toy. You flip them and they go. Uh, you know what I mean? How many submissions did you get this time around? There was. I believe 94. <laughs> it's a stick and you turn it. No, Tim Allen's more like. Uh, it's not Tim Allen! <laughs> I can do a good Tim Allen. That's not... You think that's my best Tim Allen? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I forgot to submit a song with a constantly rising tone to stress you out. It does stress me out. <laughs> Whoa! Listen to that! Hi, Mr. Yeah. Ooh, loving this. God bless racing games with awesome music. That is one of the most powerful genres of any of any creative medium ever. Racing games with good music. Or racing media with good music in general is like cannot be beaten. <laughs> this would definitely make you feel like you're going fast with that with that freaking super fast bass in the background. And it's like acid kind of bass. There's an orchid, a very subtle orchid. Which I like. It didn't make me go, oh, orchid! <laughs> no. Armageddon? I played that. What prompts I bought to say chat dot 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 when I say, uh, when someone says ami dot dot dot? Music you play when Arby's is closing a five. <laughs> acid kind of base? Uh, it's just like a spot. Oh, I don't know why acid base is called acid base. So all I know about it is that like if you go on Ableton or whatever and look at and look at different like base plugins, one of them will be called acid base. It'll sound like this. <laughs> on the way to work tomorrow and get a ticket. You guys, do not get tickets. Oh, reference to Acid Jazz? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> you guys are overworking night fly. Yeah, this is sick Mario, dude. Wow! Wow! Okay. Oh my god, Zero Play music. Um, this is... Um, a life sent on. Sorry. Gotta make everyone cry for a bit. One of my favorite recent games with so many great tracks to choose from. But I went with this beautiful flute duet, which is used throughout the game. Maybe next time we can get some of the jazzy battle music from Chicken Bone. Don't cry, guys. Um, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to. Wait, why are you guys already sad? Oh my god. All I can think of is Inuyasha. <laughs> Sashi's <laughs> last wish washing over me. Wait, what? I know, I'm sorry. The OST from the Lotus series got reused in video game Top Gear for the SNES. To this day, it's considered one of the most popular game OSTs there. Because the game, probably because the game was so easy to pirate. Oh. I had never heard of it. Interesting. It does sound like it could be an Inuyasha though. Not Inuyasha. Oh. His life is so sad somehow. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, in Brazil! Ah, oh. Man... Xeno... Xeno Blade, Xeno whatever... Those games have some freaking great music. Eh? Don't point at me and call me a weeb. I told you I'm a weeb. Eh? <laughs> 15 year olds in the 2000s be like... Sniffling while printing out a picture of... Uh... Uh... You know, yeah, I should have put on my binder. <laughs> to take one of my binder. Oh, that was short and sweet. Love it. Okay, this one has no... 
information, but it's from Plants vs. Zombies. Um, Xeno Gears, are those... Yes, continue watching. Xeno Gears, is that in the same series? I just assumed it was. And the music is all awesome. Um, and then I... Looked into... Looked at the comments and I was like... I mean, this song is really cool. But when I was adding it to the playlist, I looked into the uh, comments and it was a bunch of people being like, Oh man, this brings me back to my childhood. And I'm like... My bad babies! <laughs> um, I think the first Plants vs. Zombies is quite old now. Comments on this must be wild. It's a really cool song. Which is kind of surprising. You know, it is Plants vs. Zombies, after all. You feel decrepit? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know PVZ had this groove? It's pretty nice. This close to Orange Box? Uh, two years after Orange Box. The latter zombies, my Magnus Darla how I've never played Plants vs. Zombies. I've had touch with this and some Crystal Pepsi lit. I did have an iPod touch too, and I've never played Plants vs. Zombies. Square made Xeno Gears, but the internal team that made it left Square and found a monolith, making Xeno Saga and Xeno Blade. Oh, okay. My bones are turning to dust. Child friendly horror. Might as well, it's a fun little game. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Sometimes I like the game that, uh... You, you just, like... Mindlessly play. I don't know how mindless it is, though. I think I saw some gameplay about it before... Uh, from it before, and I was like, this is surprisingly involved. Um... Hi, Everfall! How am I supposed to defend against zombies? And this is so groovy. So groovy. I like to think that whoever submitted this was just itching for the moment when I was like, the cutoff is 2009. <laughs> this is such a banger. <laughs> Love that part. Wow, cool! That's surprisingly great! Thank you! Um, I think my... Oh no, it's working. It does seem think my marquee died. This is submitted by Smoker Mega Drive, uh, Virtual Fighter 2, Black Cat, Black Cat Moon, aka Sarah's Game. Uh, songs from the most iconic scenes in the game that you fight on a coliseum while there's a thunderstorm and wolves howling nearby. <laughs> That's quite... intense. Virtual Fighter I have Virtual Racer that I don't need really to play uh, on the Saturn. I grabbed it like a year ago. <laughs> Super high energy. I used to play during a fight. Just push it out. You just push it out. Ah, uh, there's no name in the video and no name in the submission, so I'm not sure. Good fighting game music. There's some really good fighting game music. A lot of the really good ones are, are like vocal themes. Well, I think I know six. Uh, like a lot of the newer good ones, I guess. Not is the close at all. Then smoke and make it die. Hi, N. And hi, Dad. Dad. You set up looks so cool. Thanks. I made it like 20 minutes before. <laughs> That's my virtual racing deluxe, but it was a totally banger track. This song is replay replay thing. I don't know if I 
to get a fighting game from this. Oh, never mind. There's the organ. <laughs> now I do. <laughs> oh, you like my headphones? Look, they say buckle on them. Can you see? Me? I'm hot. <laughs> Ever seen an ultra low poly characters in arcades and think that was the coolest meow ever? It is cool! I don't know, I still think Virtual Fighter was cool. I thought were in Virtual back in the day. Virtual Fighter, Virtual Pop, Virtual Racing. Why did they get rid of the L on Virtual? <laughs> you do make the best headphones. I feel so very uh, immersed listening to these, with these headphones. Yeah? Cool. Rock and roll. Um, okay, this is... Um, Yeast... Eight? I know it's not really a retro song. Totally fine. Uh, but it's probably one of the best game tracks ever composed. Wow. So I wanted to use this opportunity of a free theme to recommend this to you. That's from Rhea. Oh, I know this! Sometimes I just listen to Yeast music. So I've heard this one before. You guys, please stop correcting me on how yeast is pronounced every time. I know how it's pronounced. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I literally saw it written in freaking katakana. <laughs> I didn't say yeast. It's a great song, no? I have a new song. It's ingrained in us as yeast fans, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not saying it wrong. Is it a doll or a doll? Wait, what is that? When I was a young rat, I used to pronounce it wise. I'm gonna start doing that just to. just to. just to mess with you guys. This is from Wise 8. Does that mean there's 8 Y's in total? Because there's multiple Y's. <laughs> oh, it's the East main character. Multiple Y's. You know, because it's Wise. The game is called Wise after all. <laughs> So you can add timestamps on your VGM videos. Um, sadly, I don't really have time to add timestamps myself. Uh, if anyone wants to volunteer, go for it. I'll give you a pin and my eternal appreciation. No, not multiple wives. Yeah, I'm gonna call it wives from now on. You love chair eight. Wait, what? <laughs> I'll get that one. Oh, like east suit. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to get technical, it's actually pronounced Isu, you guys. In the description, you can do this. I know, but I still have to go and, and find every individual timestamp for every song. And it's just very time-consuming to go back and watch my own VODs in entirety like that. Um... They mi they missed their chance back in the day to call it Wise Three Suzuki. <laughs> Is that how you say that? I don't know. Um, thank you. I love that song. I have listened to that before. Sometimes I just listen to Wise music because I like it. I think it's all great. You guys have heard like another version of that too, but maybe there isn't one. I'm not sure. Um, this is Snatcher. There is no additional context. No name of who submitted it, but I'm loving it. So 80s kind of nighttime pop vibes. Mm -hmm. Wow! I love the sax. Eh? Oh my god! The horns! was Hidden Gem? Should I play that? I guess you need it. ever come out on 3DO? <laughs> I'm like looking for an excuse to play 3DO games now. <laughs> Is 
is only Sega CD, dang. No, it is on 3DO. Apparently. Wait, no, someone on Reddit said it was on 3DO. Oh, they're, they're talking about police knots. Someone asked about Snatcher and police knots at the same time. Apparently, Snatcher is only on a, a PC8801, MSX2, PC Engine, Sega CD. I played PC Engine one. I don't know if they're any different, though. PlayStation, Sega Saturn. Play the Sega Saturn one. Once I mod my Saturn. Yeah, it's on PC Engine. Like Blade Runner, right? I'm not really sure. I just know. <laughs> I just know the the bare basics, just like the vibe about like costumes. I think too many hobbies. I know. I know. I really just have to buy the mod chip for this. I don't know. That's really all I have to do. Um, you can mod the Saturn to be able to play burn games. For four. Uh, uh, I use a soft modded memory cart for the Saturn for Burnt International. I have I have the cart to play um to play like region locked games, but not to play Burnt. Okay, this is from Grand Yacht. Um, Battle Three. When I heard this, it can help but get teary. I did how epic it was. You'll get to hear it once you get to the second disc of the game. For me, the song reflects the growth of the main character from being a boy who just wanted to do adventures into a man who's willing to save everyone in the world. Hope you like it, Amiya. I already like it. That's from Roger. Thank you, Roger. Another Saturn classic. Apparently, this is from the PlayStation version, although I'm not sure if there's any difference in the music between the two. The characters look really cute. So triumphant. Whoa. I'm trying to do JP games on your Saturn at the moment. What, the region locking thing? You can get action replay. One of my favorite things about old consoles are the accessories to play games in a different format. Oh, you mean like region lock stuff? I mean, they're third, they are third party accessories, but still, they exist. PlayStation is identical to Saturn? That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I don't know. I never played this game on either, so... Just the regular battle music. For this too, so this one has different battle music. It's easier before when you still the show video and you can see the picture preview which song plays when. It's right up here. Up here, India, Battle Three. Down, down. Saturn is spice better than the PS One. Classic Sega W. <laughs> Same except for minor changes in PS One having worse graphics. Sega Dub, Sega Dub. <laughs> It does with sonido. Yeah. Oh, detain. Maybe not. Maybe just poor change. Maybe it just moved up. If they had all these dubs or the console now, well, their biggest L of all was marketing. <laughs> Like, uh... Random accessories. Investing a lot into random accessories that no one will buy. <laughs> I'm not saying they would all W's, but... <laughs> I'm 
creaming cowbell in this. I want to hear cowbell. That, that would push us over the top. <laughs> and the internal division's having beef, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want the cowbell. Give me the cowbell. We're already halfway through the list, you guys. I'm making it... This time, I'm just like... I'm just gonna let them play. You know. This time. Um, I feel like we're making really good time. Think of America TV and RPGs and preferred... Sports games. Ugh. Yeah, that's why sports games are the ones that are always left behind. Uh, when it comes to, like, secondhand stores and stuff. <laughs> You're watching a video of someone theorizing on what could be changed about the Saturn to make it more successful. Brought up with the quad Saturn news movie. The quad? Shit, sports. Um, so this is, uh, username Zeno Christ. I guess that's just a minute. It's just one of the many awesome battles in the I assume that's what you mean by SMP. Uh, four and my favorite. When, when have you heard cowbell in a box? Oh, cowbell! Shadow the Edgehog. I was just talking about cowbell. I want to hear it. I don't know if I've ever heard cowbell in a box. I'm still not hearing it though. It's <laughs> pronounced even. <laughs> Oh, you mean 3D rendering quads? Oh. Ow, the edge hog. Oh. Am I crazy? I don't hear cowbell. Oh, <laughs> dinner. Okay, see you. Very intense. So it is a boss battle. There's another SMT4 boss music that might have worked better. Might have worked better for what? This is just this person's favorite song. They submitted. There's no better or worse for this stream. It's a free. The theme is free, so comes a bit later. All right. <laughs> there it is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah. I was feeling like freaking. Uh, what's his name? I almost said Christopher Reeves. <laughs> no. Who am I thinking of? Christopher Walken? Not Chris... Why would I feel like Chris Farley? Christopher Walken, yeah. <laughs> you got me feeling like Christopher Walken. Yeah, that was Superman. I get them confused because of that one joke that is not funny. Okay. You know, it's offensive, but... I've heard it before. Christopher Robin. Not Chris Pratt, no. I started paying more attention to drums and songs ever since I started working on a rock song. Yeah, it's not, it's not a nice joke. So I'm like listening to the drum fills and stuff. Oh, I love that, uh, uh, that freaking like tonal downshift when they did that on the guitar. Christopher Walken is one from the Weapon of Choice music video. More importantly, he's the one from the SNL sketch that I was referencing. What's the organ thing called? Um, I'm not for sure what you're referring to. Could be an electric organ, could be... Uh... Rhodes is another... I, I, I'm not sure. I didn't see I... I mean, I heard, but you know. I wasn't, uh... The microtonal bend, yeah. Well, like a slide, kind of. <clears throat> Um, he was in Joe. He was in Joe. Was he in Joe Dirt? Why is he in Joe Dirt? <laughs> okay, this is Scott Grace, Sega Super GT. Um, one of a handful of tracks composed by Kaoru Ohori for the Sega Arcade Racer. Also worth mentioning that an updated release, Scott Grace Posse can still lock the pet select on one of the cars in the menu to unlock the ability to raise as a tiny cat! <laughs> oh, he was the janitor, right? He walked in one. 
is. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is from Wee Coda. I love the freaking uh wow the sample. That's a very like commonly used sample. Actually. I think that's it, it takes two sample, right? At least two parts of it. So whoo! And uh and uh No, this is one part of it. Just a whoo! SMT4 and it also had different composer in previous ones, so the new guy wasn't bad. It sounds good. Sound like the song is simply a sensor bleep. There's a very high pitched beat. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the beat. <laughs> So unfortunately, name game not because Scud is slang for. Wait, what? <laughs> what is he slang for? Ah, huh. I don't see any slang. You don't want to know. It's one of those things that literally nobody ever says. It's just on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> wow, wow. I love that. What? What is it that has the whistles like that? Beep, 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 beep. Some kind of Latin, Latin kind of music. What is it? It's a genre. Right? Oh, I got a particularly delicious meal or type of food. Um, type of missile. Um... What's good? I don't see any weird... I don't see any weird definition of the word bud. <laughs> so I do want to know, where are you guys getting this stuff from? House? I don't think it's house, specifically. Calypso is something... No, not jungle. Love the goofy sounds in the background. Yeah, those vocal samples are epic. Similar to... Oh. I was flying back in the day. I mean, that's not that good. Used to play Scud Race every time I pass the arcade in the central train... In the central train station here in Tattoo is the best song, though. Oh! Oh! One buckle told me on the playground and I told another buckle. <laughs> it's one of those things, eh? Maybe it's Jungle. I don't know. I just know there's, you know, the songs where it's like... With whistles. That's what I was thinking. Okay, this is uh, from Seth Rain, uh, and they say, edited to my non-vocal option. This looks like it's from Quest for Glory 1. The Magic Meadows Seer. <laughs> uh, around the time Caribbean tunes were just starting to phase out of dance songs. I think it is like Caribbean. No, this is not the original version because I said no vocal versions because I was hoping uh, to avoid any potential copyright bumps. <laughs> Nap in the meadows. It is very relaxing. The original version isn't vocal. Oh, I think they meant... Uh, they probably meant that they had a different song that had a vocal version. Not that... You got the non-vocal version of a vocal track they have before. It's from the Sierra collection, so it's official, it's just not the one in the game. There you go. Thank you for clearing that up, Seth Green. It's like an arranged version. I see you, Lord Sensei. Everyone knows the rules. <laughs> I be don't go. It's been a vocal song girl in a tower from the same CD. Yeah, it's best to avoid those because I get bonked way more often on vocal tracks. Eh? Are we playing a guitar in the same metal buckles are sleeping in? I can do it. <laughs> New buckle Oshi record just dropped. What's an Oshi record? I think it's pod. Okay, I have to pee really bad after this song, so. 
<laughs> Sounds kind of sorrowful though. It's not entirely relaxing, you know. It's a little bit of melancholy there. I would gladly play guitar, you guys, when you nap in the middle. And then while I nap, you have to do something, I don't know. Squeak, maybe. <laughs> Squeak it! Like that. Funky. <laughs> and I will me to sleep. Eh? Still have the original game titled Heroes Quest before they had to rename it to a copyright conflict. Oh. Snore loudly. Well, you guys would be awake while I sleep, and I'd be awake while you guys sleep. Is the idea. Hi, hey, Koijo. Moonlit Snow Journey vibes. I feel... Bob Ross. <laughs> Humming is fine. You can play accordion. Okay. Bob Ross. Not Bob Ross painting, but one of Bob Ross's paintings, you know? A cabin in the snow at night. <laughs> a dukes metal under the stars with a single fruit bearing tree watching over it just below a mountain line. Oh, in the game you mean? Wow, oh, so pretty. Alright, I'm gonna take a restroom break. Um, we are at uh, just 10 more songs left. Um, so... Uh, we're making great time. Um, I'm gonna take a restroom break. Can you guys please be um, sleeping in a meadow while I'm gone? I'll be right back.
For waiting and I'm thank here, I'm you, here, yeah. um, Finite Set and Red Ranger and Lupus and Noah and Gento and Riding Soul and Mephi and Akatsuki and Turbo and Quadro for the boost which hats while I was gone. Thank you, thank you, and thank you guys for being so comfy tucked in into I'm the meadow. Yeah. So sweet, I was watching you sleep. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. That was a weird laugh. That was an out of breath laugh, is what that was. Because I I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> I don't know why I'm out of breath. I was. I'm fine now. It's very strange. Why are you guys? Oh, because I was saying I was watching. Because I said I was watching you while you sleep. Running back from the bathroom. Yeah, I guess I try and be pretty quick. Um. All right. Um. Here, let's mute notifications for now. I appreciate it very much, but don't want it to like interrupt the music too much. But thank you guys so much for the blue super chat. Uh, this track also gets reused for a later town. This is the next one. Um, also gets reused for a later town, but they remove the seagull noises as a new town is on the coast. Well, we love the seagull noises, don't we? As someone who was raised by seagulls. <laughs> Of Gaia. The town by the sea. Precise, I'm timing you out. Please so review my rules, okay? In that time. Illusion is an unusual choice, really. What is this? Sness? Sounds nasty. Um, hi, PK Scratch. You think of Pokemon? I guess it's got Pokemon Town kind of vibes. One of your favorite SNES games is RPG, I'm guessing. Just my guess. I don't know. Oh, is this the one that has a crazy overworld with the very strange? No, that's something else. <laughs> Paranigma, that's the one. It has the crazy looking overworld. Are the I like how the seagulls are like. In the music. That's really cool. They're like rhythmically. No, not act lasers, Terranigma. <laughs> oh. I miscalculated. <laughs> they're just kind of random, but they do go along with the beat. <laughs> yeah, I made one. I did one. <laughs> the tube overworld. Yeah, it looks really cool. Aww. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 Shoot. I can't overlap you in once. Hey! Ah! 
Huh? There we go. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. You thought the music was doubling seals. It's seagulls, not seals. First of all, <laughs> second of all, I don't sound anything like that. I sound like a meow. It's so sweet. Ami is learning her adopted parents language. <laughs> okay, this one is from um um. This is from Jeremy from Super Black Base Bass. Sorry, history. A rare snack fishing game. Really hard to pick a favorite from this. There's a bunch of good ones. Track 2 is also especially good. Oh my god, it's got... Cha-cha? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. See, Shadow Beam? Hi, Arcana. Yeah, Jeremy, this is yours. It reminds me of that one... Uh... It reminds me of Static. I will say that. Sonic 1, Starlight Zone. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I was right, okay. Oh, I love it though. It does feel like an outrun track. I'm trying to think of what like genre this reminds me of. It's definitely like... Definitely like... Like, uh... It's like salsa cha-cha. I don't know, I don't know. You hear the Sonic vibes? Yeah, where it goes. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, that was just the one song, and that was, this is like a whole soundtrack they sent me. I love that. The vibes are great. Definitely driving along the highway kind of music. Very outrun feeling. Can't believe it's for a freaking fishing game. I gotta play this. <laughs> um, so this is um from Guilty Gear XX. Song name Harmony Red Eyes in Your Head, which uses a character theme for Slayer in the fighting game Guilty Gear FX. While well, the Guilty Gear series is mostly known for its heavy metal music, the song is rather unorthodox in that, in addition to the typical hard hitting guitar riff, uh, it also makes use of the saxophone to transition into a more jazzy tune, which really helps to accentuate Slayer's personality as a dandy, classy gentleman submitted by Shadow B. Oh no, Shadow B just left! <laughs> I'm sorry, but right before you got to your submission. He does look fancy. He looks so fancy. He's a powerful vampire who replicates you into space while reciting a haiku. That's all he's specific. <laughs> I'm liking the horn. I kinda wish they were a little more pronounced. It is still heavy metal vibes though. Probably less so than the other stuff in the game. Slayer doesn't really get knocked out, he just lies down on his side looking annoyed at you. He's like, fine. If I wasn't a vampire, I would've lost, so... I lost. <laughs> He's also married... to... a character in the game. I guess it would have to be, or else... Breaking the laws of fourth wall. <laughs> Guilty Gear music is kind of supreme. I do like really like Guilty Gear music. Again, one of those games I never played. Uh, just like East and just like, um... Dino, whatever. Great music that I listen to sometimes. Just for fun. I just throw on a playlist because I know it's got great music. Sucks all the blood from his immortal wife and she floats away like a deflating balloon. Really? I forgot her name, but the character appears in his intro and match and screams on. <laughs> Pronounce wise. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I was doing that. Yeah, uh, just like wise has really good music. So sometimes I just never play wise, but sometimes I just throw on a soundtrack. 
I'm enjoying the music. I'm just... I woke up <laughs> very late today. What's the boy dinner? What'd you get? This is uh, from Guilty Gear XX. It's a vampire scene. It's incredibly long also, so I probably won't listen to the whole thing. Sixteen minutes, so <laughs> probably go next to Built wide here at that yeah. These titles above here, yeah, but it's oh it does say guilty gear. Oop. <laughs> so many slides and say guilty gear. It's extended, yeah, so we're going to go on to the next one, but this is very cool. Oh my god, I'm very excited about the next one. Oh my god. Um, hi Cody and Tenkaku. Don't send me extended ones if you can help it, guys, because, yeah. Because <laughs> it makes it harder to, to gauge. Um... Unless... Like, for this one... The person said that they submitted the extended loop because it was the best sound quality on YouTube. So that's fine. And just let me know, you know. Ideally, if you let me know where it loops, that'll be perfect. So this is episode 1, player 2, Jazz, Jackrabbit, one of my very favorite DOS games. Tube Electric, composed by Robert Allen. Three Unreal games from Epic Mega Games showcase some fantastic soundtracks that are too often overlooked. Tube Electric from Jazz, Jackrabbit is a great example and a gem among gems. It's not Sonic! Uh, the YouTube version is extended, so you probably want to cut it down. I think this is the best quality sound. Oh, is this yours, Maximus? That's fine. You don't have to put your name. Uh, I don't know if he's he, he's definitely very close to Sonic. I don't know if he's better though. <laughs> Sounds like tracker music. Could be. This is a, a DOS game after all. <laughs> I haven't heard Jazz Jack grab it in a hot minute. I played it before. Um, I don't think I finished it. <laughs> I think I got pretty dang close, but. It is tracker music. Early this is Jazz Jack Rabbit of a cheap book called Apology, where it runs worse, looks worse, and sounds worse. There's a mean spir spirited jab at Apple G and was removed later on. Well, gee. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Have you heard any PSX songs? Hi, Dorana. We've had we've had a couple PlayStation songs. Eh? Yeah, I think I just played the first episode and I don't even think I beat it. I should return to that at some point. I want to return to that. Jill of the Jungle, I think I only did one episode of. Also... I think it's Luke. But I love it. Does Jackrabbit. Five. Oh yeah, that was the bad hanger scheme. <laughs> Jazz Jackrabbit is Apple G Sonic. Jazz Jackrabbit is Epic Mega Game. Oh, those little songs are meant to be listening to two acts. Nah. <laughs> nah. You ever play Jazz Jackrap? You gave me the try on the last box. It's fun. Music on Epic's pinball games was also great. Yeah, I think I played like one of those. Yeah. Too fast for me. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go next. The next song is. Lost my spot. Oh no. Here we go. Um, BSF0 uh, Grand Prix GAC 200 obtained a Roland JB Kennedy and has done some uh, work in progress making restored BSF0 tracks. So this is. Um, um, the. Um, the 
the Satella view. One. So, so, would have been playing on the, uh... Oh, the beam says St. Giga. Well, you guys can't see. So, I've been playing on the radio, I suppose. So, a kind of upgraded version. Well, of course, it wouldn't have been played on the SNES. <laughs> sounds way too good. Well, not good, but it sounds way too high fidelity, I guess. By the way, you guys, new, uh, um, hopefully it sounds better than, than the AI work. Uh, Kabooses, I assume it's you who submitted this. Um, thanks for the help from Kabooses, we're gonna have an another Satellaview stream very, very soon. So that's something to look forward to. St. Giga sounds like a castle mini <laughs> mod, it does. They're like a vaporwave producer. <laughs> Triumphant. Was this a tail theme? Of course, Pink to launch a new satellite in this space. You guys are gonna single handedly jumpstart the Satellaview resurgence. There's gonna be. Someone's gonna put a freaking satellite up there. <laughs> Not that that would work. This is playing the start menu. Okay, that's what I thought. Not that that's how that works at all. Uh, this is from Hardcore's Uprising Stage 1 Extra Theme. If you want to code on the loading screen, you get this remix of the classic Stage 1 theme through the original. From the original console game, remix by Daisuke Ikiwatari. Probably the best theme in the game, and it's behind a code. Enjoy! Love Contra. It's so hard though. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> This is Contra? Yeah, it's a remix of the stage one from the original Contra. That's a cube sat. A cube satellite? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah, this is great. To me, it's like almost barely, just like barely recognizable. As the stage one Contra theme, but. I guess I never pay that much attention to Contra music either. Now I have to see, check if that was an intentional mispronunciation too. Corpse is pronounced core, so it reads like hardcore. So I said hardcores. I didn't say hard corpse. Just for the record. I couldn't remember if you put the S on at the end, but I do know it's supposed to be hardcore. But I said hardcores. Uprising. <laughs> Pronounce wise. <laughs> oh, yes, I do know that it's a pun. I just couldn't remember if you're supposed to attack the S on the end or not. Leave me alone! <laughs> Ooh, I like this part. No, you're not hardcore. You must be little hardcore. <laughs> I'm putting a quote only to see the song The Three Lives Are Unlocked Behind a Progress Gate. Oh, is it really hard? Do you need 30 lives? Yeah. Getting confused by French words. Wait. Is that a French word? Of course. You're playing mind games with me? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm doing my best is what I'm doing. But now I will. See you back to the spirit decor. Apparently, it is French, yeah. It's French, hence not pronouncing the letters, but very clearly in the words. I, I never knew that P was one of those ones that could be, like, silent. Rock and roll! <laughs> Remember when I tried to 
starting to play Contra with the what was it? NES Max or NES? Uh, what is it right here? Vantage. <laughs> it can be if you aim at the side of the bowl. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Lonely Turtle. Um, this is main theme, Bilateral. Uh, there's a song I've been listening to a lot since it's the only song in this game. Well, not really. The other songs are variations of that crossfade in and out as needed. Uh, but for the most part, the game is what's playing this. This is what's playing besides sound effects. Many albums of this song are faster with higher pitch, including the one by the composer Louis F. himself. But this slowed down, pitched down version is what plays the game, so I wanted to show that version off. The video loops the song twice. First loop ending at 407. Flash tirade. Thank you so much for letting me know when it loops. Hi, hey, Swanny. It's a card game. Everyone that plays this gets addicted. Oh, should I try? <laughs> you listen to this so much too. Was I drunk during it? Probably. No, it was. Uh, why did I do that? <laughs> We're talking about unique controllers, maybe? Turbo buttons? I don't know. Cheating, we were talking about? So I was like, turbo button? I don't know. You watch someone who plays a lot of Balatro? I do not play Balatro. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the deck felt a roguelike from this year that exploded in popularity. I haven't played it yet, but I know it's gonna be right up my alley. Yeah, it was for the turbo. I just don't remember what stream. Well, now this is some CDI Tetris vibes. Extreme poker? Oh, I don't like poker. Because I don't understand it. <laughs> I will <wait. laughs> You're gonna get it for your dad. Wait, wait for your dad to get addicted. Hopefully it's not one you have to spend money on. I'm gonna check out this Bellatro. Bellatro sounds like fun. You know, I I can thinking of um. You guys remember that one episode of Recess where um all the kids get addicted to this card game? I think it's called Kojimbo. Like I'm not even making like a Hideo Kojima joke. I think it was literally called Kojimbo, and uh, <laughs> everyone got addicted to this card game. That's what Bellatro is reminding me of. Jimbo. Yo, Jimbo! Oh, yeah. Hideo <laughs> Kajimbo! They should add Yu Gi Oh! Battle City Rules to Battle Joe. <laughs> I like my egg on an empty box and uh, DJ Frost Bite. Scrolling through YouTube and I found a Cosmic livestream. I wanted to say hi. You should stick around. We're just listening to the music today. Uh, it's Cosmic. Uh, if you don't recognize it, this is the Sega Saturn. Oh, a uh, Jimbo. This is the Sega Saturn. Uh, I redrew it, but it's like the Sega Saturn HUD for the music player. The BIOS. Kojimbled again. Remember when Metal Gear had the Acid series which was a card battler? What? Whoa. You watched that episode not that long ago? You out there watching Recess? Probably on Disney Plus. Maybe I should watch some recess. Yeah. On PSP? Are they good? Metal Gear Brain? You guys are Metal Gear Brain. I am a little bit. <laughs> I just really want to play Ghost Apple. And Metal Gear 2. Hello, blah, 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 blah. Alright. Now it has loop. Thank you, Flash Tiger, for your submission. The next one is from. Um, it says, chill music from Elder Scrolls 4. Oblivion. The sequel. I wonder how easy it is to mod the PSV. The PSV, that is very easy to mod. You just click on a thing. On a website, and bing, 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 boom, it's done. <laughs> so I was just playing the pre... Not the prequel, but the previous game to this yesterday. Why Bacopia? <laughs> this takes you back. Hi, Eclipse. This 
This is so tragic. What the heck happened? <laughs> In oblivion. I guess oblivion kind of gives a... a hint, right? Doesn't sound very positive. My mind is clipped. I thought Elder Scrolls was another joke name after Elder Field fiasco. No, Elden Field is a joke about Elder Scrolls. Um, just subscribe to you so I know when you're live. Yay! I could just jump gracefully around the room, knocking stuff over to solemn music. It's very solemn. I remember the power plants which exploded randomly <laughs> like they were yesterday. As long as you know they exploded randomly. You can't trust any link you see on the internet. What if? One manipulates the programming on your beloved Sony PSP. Aww. What are they gonna do? They're gonna make it cooler no matter. Oh! Hope! It's gonna become cooler and easier to use no matter what, right? What can they possibly put on it that makes it worse? Emperor John Luke Picard tells you to close the gates of oblivion. Are you implying that this is a like a Star Trek esque track? Because I agree. It does sound like a Star Trek opening. It's been a long road. <laughs> Please, every time the giant squid whacks you into the ocean. <laughs> oh, he's voiced by Picard. Oh, I see what you mean. Sir, Sir, Sir Patrick Stewart. Eh? I'm as cute as a Borg. <laughs> you should replay Oblivion. That's cool. White hypnotic. Buckle staring up the spider constellation transfixed by its beauty. Now, now I cannot think of this just being like a Star... I can't not think of this just being like a Star Trek opening. <laughs> Never played this story, still have somehow 200 hours in it. Oh my god. You get to pick you get to hear Picard look you in the eye. You get to hear him look you in the eyes and say, You, you're the one from my dreams. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, there's a bunch I disqualified. Okay, this is from Conky. It says, Metroid Prime. Yes, it's retro. Uh, that was not one of the stipulations, but I mean, it is from 2002, so. <laughs> I'm with ya. Spooky. Eh? Not retro. Why does it say copyright 2002? It was made by retro. Baby. 2002 is like 8 years ago. <laughs> it was only 15 years ago. You guys stop it. 2002 is my personal retro cutoff, so. The company that made it is Retro Studios. Oh. Why? 2002 was a thousand years ago. I don't know what you guys mean. So spooky. 2010 considered retro now. Depends on who you ask. I say no. And it never will be because I consider retro to be more based on the way things look and feel rather than a specific date cut off. It was a cheating retro games presentation. Okay, I thought so. You keep camping retro yet. Returning to that well well just look at the just look at the Plants vs. Zombies soundtrack comment section and you guys will understand. You guys will feel it even more. <laughs> Chances are slim, but I still wanna see I'm gonna play Metro Prime in the future. This is not slim. I played a GameCube game before. I would say that GameCube games are like on the precipice for me. Yeah. 
It's not out of the question, but I probably won't be playing it anytime soon, but you know. I'm enjoying Metroid, so I see no reason to like stay away from it because it's from 2002. When I play games later than 2002. <laughs> Disorient me though because 3D. A lot of songs people submitted were considered retro, even if there was no cutoff. I know you guys are. Uh, I don't want to say you did good because I did say people could submit whatever you want, and I did like the more modern tracks you guys submitted. But I was, there, there, I like that that a lot of you guys still submitted retro music. We got we got a bunch of old game lovers here. 20 year anniversary for Gears of War in just two years. Well, oh, I said this on uh, Twitter yesterday, but but Metroid Prime is not retro. Meanwhile, retro Metroid Fusion is two thousand two, and Zero Mission is two thousand four. Exactly, I've literally played like a, a newer retro, uh, newer Metroid game. <laughs> Old game lovers, yes. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah. Since it's the year of Shadow, I have moved my Shadow the Hedgehog playthrough up. And we will now be playing it on November 15th. Which is when the original game was released. It's only 19 years and not 20, but it's the year of Shadow apparently. Okay, this one is... Uh, All Tale from G uh, G2R 2014. I don't know what that is. And other rhythm games. Oh. It's a really good song. So I'm the first place in the 2014 BMS of Fighters contest. It's a series of annual contests where music producers compose original game music for use in fan made PC versions of the Beat Mania arcade games. Ah! This link includes a music video that plays the game about a robot fishing for stars. Alright, let me show you guys this then. Very cute. This is a little robot! Just in time for the movie? Yeah. I think that's why, so... When is the movie coming out? It'd be, it'd be good to play those around the same time. And build up some hype. Not that Shadow the Hedgehog needs any hype building, okay? People are gonna be thrilled, I'm pretty sure. You guys have been begging me to play Shadow the Hedgehog. I've never played it before. I like this. This goes places. It's definitely composed in a very rhythm game-esque way, where they like intentionally put in some slower parts. And stuff, but you know, it's nice. It's a nice song. The animation and the art is gorgeous. I like the watercolor feel. Oh, yeah, that is very. See, the thing about rhythm game songs for me, for the most part, is that I can tell they like. It isn't a rhythm game. That's my point. Is like. I can tell it's composed in such a way that makes it, like... More... Uh... Generally speaking, they're composed in a way that makes it more... Compelling to play rather than compelling to listen to, but this... This song does a really good job of balancing... Uh... Balancing that. It, like, sounds... It doesn't sound, like, still stilted at all because it's trying to... Um... Account for these, like... Slower or more, like... Rhythmically... Uh, surprising parts. Uh, it does a really good job of, you know. Story looks like it'll make me cry, little robots get me. I know, I feel so sad about. Daddy <laughs> Monk. <laughs> That's the end of the playlist. <laughs> I right, listen to Daddy Monk. <laughs> I get so sad about robot stories. <laughs> That was the end of the playlist. Thank you, guys! Yay! Now we can listen to my pick, which is... Daddy Mok. <laughs> punch, punch, punchy. Thank you guys so much for the suggestions. <laughs> can we suggest songs from chat? Uh, the suggestions are closed now. Um, next time I do a VGM stream... Um, I might use the same form. We'll see. This is Daddy Malt from Ninja Warriors, but live. Yeah. 
you don't know how much this can let me. <laughs> Should have submitted a Yakuza banger. Next time, next time. Putting some restrictions on it makes it a good challenge. Yeah, I think so, but... To be honest, it's kind of hard to think of the restrictions sometimes. <laughs> so I'm just like, uh... If you guys have never seen this before, wait till it gets to the Shami Sinsu Um, but it's also hard to think of those... Restrictions. <laughs> you know? Or if I do, people will, like... Try and circumvent them and, like... Uh, it makes it hard to, like... Vet the... The final playlist. You know? Daddy mo... Daddy mo... Daddy mo... Daddy mo... Daddy mo... <laughs> and you were having some cool songs with restrictions, it's true. It's true. Yeah, some people don't read the rules or they will try and do a little... That's what's so hard about these streams. Is that like... I don't know. I try and make it really fair, but... I, I like always have... <laughs> For the most part, there's like always people mad at me after. <laughs> oh, it's hard to do these streams. Peace is not embraced by all, exactly. You're probably gonna suggest Dark Samus' theme. For Metroid Prime 3? Sure. Can't do everything for them? Yeah. <laughs> you just want to suggest your form other? No, there's a specific form for, for this. But yeah, I can't please everyone, you know. I gotta I gotta I gotta keep my sanity somewhere. <laughs> you do a good job as always. Thank you. Oh, I cannot wait for this shammy thing. What style jacket is that? Uh, it looks like a bomber jacket. A really cool one, actually. It's like silver. Uh, I think that's, uh, it reminds me of the Atari silver jacket. I was looking. For, I, um, when my parents came to visit me in Japan, we went to thrift stores, and I really wanted to find a silver bomber jacket. I could not find one. I showed it off not too long ago, but it was in the, you know. It was in the uh, related ones. Here it goes! So I was like, let's listen. It goes crazy! I'll post the play as time stamp later. Thank you for being in. It's no use. <laughs> it's a uh, shamisen. <laughs> yeah, insane. I would be so sick to hear this live. I love this thing, y'all. All the demons playing the concert hall. Ah, people started ripping their faces off just like in mirrors. <laughs> goosebumps. Goosebumps. Okay. See you, DJ Frostbite. Baby, That playing. You cannot be of a human. They must be a goblin spider. Why a goblin spider? <laughs> We have a little bit of time left, so um, I'm, I'm gonna, after this, pick some more random selections from the uh, submission form. Alright, so I'm just gonna kind of like scroll around and just like see what I land on. Because I highlighted the ones that ended up on the playlist, so I'll just see what I land on. And if it's a highlighted one, I will just go to the next closest. Here we go. Um, this one is... Let's play it. Pita. Hi, Papita! This is Seiken Densetsu 3 Super Famicom. This is a game I've been fascinated by since I was a young buckle. Played it a handful times over the years, but this OS... And this OS will occasionally play in my head. This is one of the songs I'm trying myself humming or tapping to from In Pure Heart. Oh my god, it sounds like... Skellington's playing xylophone on their rib bones. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All I can think of is Skellington's right now. Swivel, 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 swivel. Apparently, his song is called Swivel. <laughs> Am 
what you're on. It sounds like they're playing... They're playing xylophone on the Is we made finally released in English a few years ago as Trials of Mana. Oh, have you ever played it? Hi, right there. Um, Trials of Mana. Hi, our friend. That's a perfect description. It's true. <laughs> I'm right, dude. Not the remake. Oh, you played the original. Play with the emulator plus English patch back in the day. Oh, I didn't even think that there would be an English patch. Xylobones. We rotating 270 degrees. Wait, I don't get it. It's Skelly Man Core. My work in the original was really impressive. Uh, they can dance it. Is this RPG? This one was the Beast Boy. That's Teen Titans. <laughs> so those can't rotate 360 by the. Oh, because of the name. Oh, I actually did not know that. <laughs> they can only swivel. A square soft game. Uh, no, it's not Marimbas. They're playing. It's Skellington's playing. Uh, playing xylophone on the ribs. All right. Um, that was epic. It reminded me. Like I said, I'm not gonna say it again. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's Skellington's again. Okay, but you know how it is. Alright, let me pick another random one. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. There's no YouTube link. Make sure you read the instructions. Alright. Here we go. Oh, we got a Tim Fallen one. Let's go. Um, this is Time Track, the only Genesis soundtrack created by the legendary Tim Fallen. Yes! The original game was unreleased, so the public only got to hear the music in 2013 when the prototype was uploaded on the internet. From Alpac. This one goes hard on mute. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. Time track. Past, present, future. It can all change in the blink of an eye. Now, is this at all related to the TV show? No, right? Oh, it is! Meant for the Linkless Division? Yeah, I figured. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be nasty about this song. Oh! Uh, Jonah, please do not spam emojis. Um, I'm going to... ...put it in timeout. So unfortunately, the game ended up being unreleased. We only have an almost finished prototype to play. Oh, it wasn't released at all. But wasn't this supposed to be... That reminds me. Wasn't this supposed to be an Akira game on Genesis? Man, so many unreleased games that could have been really, really cool. Speaking of mute, I should have submitted Kez's theme from Monster Hunter. Is it nothing? <laughs> there are a bunch of Akira games in the works. Yeah, it looks so cool. The Genesis one. It is nothing all. <laughs> you can't stand this tune? What? It's so good. This is amazing. It reminds me of highway driving. Then. And it hasn't got that, um, the, the negative kind of Genesis stink. No. Yeah, I love the bass. I love the bass as well. Alright, cool. Thank you so much for the submission. Um, let's do another random one. But this is Whoa, that's a long description, but that's okay. Um I would agree that it needs a little more farts. I kind of agree. Uh, stones from Ultima... I'm sorry... Ultima... 6. 
The false prophet. Thank you for putting the number, the Roman numeral number in, um... Uh... What is it? Regular numerals? What are they? Arabic numerals? After in brackets? <laughs> the false prophet submitted by Gildrian. Oh, you were right, it is you! <laughs> when first appearing in Ultima 5, Warriors of Destiny 1988, the one in Ultima 6 can be played on a role in MT32. Ultima, yes. Um... A very expensive mini player that sounds much better than the classic farty ad lib sound cards. <gasps> you take that back about farty. Easily available to everyone at the time. A ballad about mystical shrines that symbolize eight virtues. The, uh, the eight virtues the avatar pursues and embodies. It even has its own lyrics included in the lore book that came with Ultima Five. Oh, yes, Arabic numerals. Yeah, is what they're called. Um. In the game, the song is composed by the famous bard YOLO. <laughs> Close friend of Lord British. Outside the game, the song was composed by David Watson, real world counterpart of Lolo, YOLO, and close friend of Richard Garriott, real world counterpart of Lord British. You can even find a few videos online with Watson playing the song with lawyers. Oh, neat. It is kind of sad sounding, but then hopeful. You know? Roman? No, I'm talking about the ones that are not Roman. <laughs> the ones that are Arabic. The sound Roman really looks sick as hell. Good work. Thank you! I made it like 20 minutes before stream. <laughs> Am I crazy here? It's Arabic numerals, you guys. <laughs> Google it. Ultima went in an unfortunate direction, but at least online went well for a while. Oh. It's sad. It is. Okay, okay, okay. Rome. <laughs> Rome made the inferior numbers. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Roman Empire heads. When old man Jim talks about the Great Fire of 1912. Oh, uh, yes. Macobria. Macobria. <laughs> Roman numerals suck and no one should use them. Whoa! Just like in, um... Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I think Roman numeral. You gotta try and give me say something like, I think Roman numerals suck! <laughs> Ro Roma boots. <laughs> sorry! Sorry, Roman Empire heads. Roman Empire examples. Ultimas 4 through 7 are considered the best. What happened to 1 to 3? Are they not good? Oh, I see the little rolling the sound module thing in the corner. Oh! Whoa! She stopped. <laughs> whoa. Such a sad medieval sounding uh, song. I really like it though. Very pretty. Like harp arpeggios. I love. Thank you, Gildrian. Um, alright. <laughs> uh, this is from Night. Um, it's Santiago Rise of Nations OST still stuck in my head 20 years later. That was a very abrupt end. <laughs> One and two are Gary as a kid doing games. Three is his first proper game. And four is a proper Ultima series. Oh, okay. So it was just like a kid making some games. We <laughs> need a Colosseum. What have the Romans ever done for me to make me want to use Roman numerals? The Romans have done a lot for me. <laughs> Didn't they like invent plumbing or something? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. This is taking me back. My lizard brain roots. Huh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like you, if you be punctuated with... <laughs> I, have, I have a sudden urge to do seagull noises to this song. Ideally to match up with the seagull music, the seagull voices in a song. <laughs> Aside from the aqueduct, the road, sanitation, education, and wine, what have the Romans ever done for us? This? Romans got dunked on in the numerals department. They truly did. Tell that to the superb owls. I was trying to... Okay, that's why I scrolled up. Because I was like... I feel like someone said something about superb owls. And I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Oh 
They didn't transport water for kilometers with only a few centimeters incl of inclination. Yeah, but it's high from that. Just submitting the humankind song that just Aztec boots to get Kami and Ami back. Oh, she's back. <gasps> Come on. <laughs> you never listen to this music casually. Well, apparently it was stuck in Knight's head. So. I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of these that are like really cool that I would never listen to casually because it's like... Not because it wouldn't be good to listen to casually, but just because it's like, when would this ever come into my brain, you know? Unless I hear it on a playlist. I like, it, it'd be totally pleasing to listen to casually. It's just not something I would think of, somehow. Yeah. There's so much flute in this. It's like, almost off flute. Which is cool. I like it. Bam, bam, bam. Um, alright. Let me try and find another random one. We'll do a couple more. Oh, that's way too far. This one is from Twinkle Star Sprite, which I believe is a shmup. Neo Geo. I want to sink this out, but the flute could get stuck in my head. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we could listen to more Sega Genesis soundtrack. Well, if it. If it's one of the ones that I select randomly, then maybe. Ooh! Oh, Twinkle Star Spice is so cute. I love this rhythm. Schmop puzzle game getting a chain sense junk to the opponent like Puzzle Fighter. God, I want to play this. I haven't even played Twinkle Star Spice for a while. You can already hear the high pitched girls screaming at each other. Huh? <laughs> 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 like that. I like that in the background. <laughs> A beast nest songs are really ha. This is Neo Geo. I love that part. You're really good. I know. <laughs> Hi, Benemy. The NG sounded really great at the time, but I guess for the price, it had to be. Yeah, New G was kind of crazy that it existed. You must be a retired anime girl. Why do I gotta be retired, huh? You calling me old? <laughs> <laughs> what you hear in your head when you pick up the screen clearing upgrade? Listen. I love that part. The alternating is like almost like call and response. I mean, is eternal. <laughs> oh, it's FM and PCM. Wait, it's both? Frequency modulation and pulse code modulation? I like that. I know what those stand for now. I feel smart. <laughs> the Neo Geo had very high on hardware when it was released. That's why I'm saying, like, it's kind of amazing that it was released, to be honest. Um, very cool. Um, alright, let's do, like, two more, maybe? Because my throat is starting to hurt from talking too much. This is... Void... From Void Stranger. <clears throat> the track is called Rage Rave. Oh, this video isn't available. Oh no, I typed the thing in wrong. I copy pasted it wrong. Yeah, it's basically an arcade machine in your home. Um, Rage Rave. This game came out just last year, but the soundtrack is deeply chip tuned. Uh, there's so many songs I love in this game, but I went with the BGM of the fifth level, fifth set of levels specifically for its ultra grungy baseline melody. Something about it just screams Sega Genesis to me. Um, I would have gone. The ending theme, which is a beautiful vocal track over trip tune backing, but no vocals. The game is puzzle game, but also a lot more. And really, anything I say beyond that would be spoilers. Koshi, by the way. Thank you, Koshi. The Amiya logo on the bottom. Oh yeah, do you like the colors? I customized it. <laughs> I know what I'm in PCM. Hello, um, DVJSA. Are you going to have another listening stream? This is not the first, and it will not be the last. Yeah. I'm sad I missed out on submitting requests. 
If you want to uh, submit something, what you gotta do is keep an eye on my community tab and on my Twitter and uh, watch my streams, and I will give you plenty of notice. I wanna try this game out, I love puzzle games. You think you're picking up Void Stranger and spending hours getting mad at blocks? Is it that kind of game? Getting mad at blocks game? Cause that's like right up my alley. <laughs> That Amiya logo is great. Yay! It's really cool. It's a mind melter. Oh my god, I want to try. I love the textures in this track. Yeah, they're like... It is, it is grungy is the best way to describe it, I suppose. Oh, so cool. Ah. It's like harpsichord, but really, really like um, really distorted, scrumptious song. <laughs> it changes heads. It's really cool. The song is really cool. I really see more Ami and VGM music content in the future. Great. Yeah. Um. Ideally, next week uh, on Wednesday, since I have Wednesday off for a family thing. Um, I'm going to try my very, very best to get out the radio show stream or video. Um, I think it's gonna be a little bit tough because uh, I don't have access to the art I was working on for it anymore. But I will tomorrow once I get my hard drive base for my new PC. So uh, hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, I can get something finished for you guys because I'm not streaming. I'm gonna upload something instead. If not. I'll probably try and do just audio only and like maybe just give give you guys a link to an audio file and then upload the video later. I have some songs from the last video game listen along that didn't get picked um, on my set list for that and I have and I'll put some songs from this one that didn't get picked as well. There's a nice like kind of reverb in this too. Yeah, I think the audio standalone will be fine. But the video is really just like a tiny animation with some like... Some like... Information like the name of the song and stuff, so... Ooh! Ooh, that guitar! That... If you have the audio file, I can burn it right to disk for my whip. <laughs> I love you, Clyde Car, your whip. I haven't heard that in so long. Such a SNES coded guitar sample, it really is. Wow. Cool! Okay, last one for today, you guys. Um, this is... Bad Girl. Arranged. Be Janet. King of Fighters 11. Heard you wanted to be a sultry radio host, so why not a sultry song from a sultry character? I believe you played as B. Janet and Garo during your Neo Geo mini streams as well. I enjoyed that stream. From Bad to the Bob. <laughs> my name is Roots the Bat. Yes, that is my name. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. You have a really good radio voice. Thank you so much. Wow. Song also fits on me with her red dress and figure it on the piano. It's I knew you mentioned Sonic with this one. Oh, well, wow. not my fault. It sounds like a Roost the Bat theme. <laughs> Called the voice changer there for years back when they used to make smart bosses for some games. Glad they're doing well and making cool stuff. Um, oh, you mean the other game? From the, the song you just played? 
Rouge Bustel. Is that is that how you say that? I like how the rhythm gets more like jumpy here. It's like kind of walking bass. I'm here sending secret radio message like the radio woman from the Warriors. <laughs> You'll never know until I execute the command. <laughs> Ebosi Dory. Bow bow! This is great. Real fun. Reminds you of Sonic Adventure 1. Thank you! been activated. Oh, just a heads up, you guys. Next week, um, a very cool. Thank you for the submission. Um, next week, I will be doing a presentation on um. I'll be doing a presentation on... Uh, game engines! And I will be... Announcing a tentative date range for the game jam. So... Um... Please look forward to that. And then... Uh, uh, it's a tentative date because I'm gonna say, uh, like... Like, um... You guys can let me know if that's, like... An okay date or if you have any suggestions. Um, it's basically gonna be, like, an entire month is, is the deal, so... Buckles cute. Oh, he always does cool things. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. Um, it won't be for a couple months, the game jam, but um, yeah, I'm gonna try and introduce you to it. won't be super, super in depth, but um, I'm just gonna cover a couple of the more like easy to pick up ones, um, and uh, maybe give you guys some inspiration on the type of games you might want to play. And I'll, I'll try and play like sample games from each of those game engines so you can see kind of what it's like. Um, you're talking to Dolo, Game Maker, Macamina Fusion. I mean, you can guys, you guys can use whatever engines you want, but um, but um, I'm just gonna talk about some simple ones because, because I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are like, I can't make a game, you know. But um, there's some very, very, very simple to use engines out there, so I want, I want to make sure that everybody who wants to participate has a chance. Uh, I'm also trying to think of a way that people can work together on things and team up if they want to. Like, say you're good at programming, but you want someone to help with art. Um, maybe there's a way we can facilitate that. Something like that, you know. <clears throat> Sounds good? Uh, if us procrastinators start now, we'll have enough time. I don't know if I should have, um... I don't know if I should have it be like, just start now and the game, the game jam will be whenever. You know, but... I'm mean, working on a little project called Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, stop. I've already played that game and you did not make it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll talk about a couple of different engines uh, next week. And then... Sound great? Yay! And then uh, we can... Start talking specifics. So I'm very excited for that. My next week's schedule is out already. Um... So you can take a look at that. Now that today's stream is over, I'll go ahead and pin that on Twitter. Uh, next week is a really great week, although it is a shorter week than normal. I'm gonna try and, like I said, get that upload ready and maybe squeeze in a gorilla, a monkey, if I can, if I have the energy. Uh, you can do game jam on your very game dev on your very own game jam game. I could definitely. I've already made several games that would qualify for an Omni game jam game. <laughs> uh, hope we can participate. I hope so too. So let's take a look at next week's schedule now. Um, as long as I'm here. We're about to wrap up. Mm -hmm. 
You're definitely participating. Yay, thank you. Alright, so here we go. Um, more Elden more Elden Scrolls. Elden Roll <laughs> on Monday. Another modern Monday. Um, and then Tuesday we're gonna play more Misadventures of Tron Bone. I don't know uh if I can survive another trombone stream. Because you guys are being so cute and the the stir bots are so cute. <laughs> You're gonna see if the engines inspire you. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know if my heart can endure. I really don't. I really don't. But I, I, I love the game, so I want to play it. <laughs> That's a weird PS1 icon. Why do I have that there? <laughs> um, Kingsfield is not on PC, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. I do miss you guys. <laughs> No, stop, stop, stop! Just wait for the... Wait to attack on... Uh, <sighs> yeah, it's supposed to be to show original hardware. I mean, technically I am playing it on PC, but... <laughs> yeah, that's a mistake. Um, Mr. Adventures of Trombone. And then on Wednesday, I have a break because I have a uh, family commitment. Um, and then on Thursday, we're going to try out some... Wonder Swan games, which I'm very excited about. Um, because... I don't think... It, it, just a heads up, that will not be on original... I do have a Wonder Swan, but... Uh, there's no way for me to output video from it, so... That will not be on original hardware, but... Still gonna be cool. <clears throat> and then, um... On Friday, we have the presentation on the Game Jam. Uh, some game engines you can use for the Game Jam. And hopefully I'm gonna announce a date. Um, and then... Um, on Saturday... Alex Kid in Miracle World. The first Alex Kid game. So looking... Very much forward to it. And uh, this adorable art is by uh, JP. Thank you so much, JP. It's so cute. I'm a rock star. <laughs> the Friday presentation is highlight of the week for you. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, so yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, another awesome week coming. Yeah, I'm very excited about this coming week. Um, and I'll try and I'll maybe squeeze in a monkey, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. It's gonna be... It's gonna be... Kind of a long week in general, but... Glad Alex Kid gets his own screen. Wanted that for the mascot stream since there was... The mascot... That was the mascot before Sonic. Yeah. I always played on... I, I'd always planned on just playing Alex Kid on its own, so... Now time for me to listen to all the songs I miss. Yes, let me guys post the playlist for you. Let me guys. Oh my god. I can barely talk. Let me post the playlist for you guys. <laughs> So that you can listen to it on your own time. Um, this doesn't include the stuff I played afterwards. The randomly selected stuff. So just a heads up for that. Um, but buddy, thank you. I won't be able to work on the PC 98 until tomorrow, sadly. But, uh, because I need to access my hard drive somehow. So many cool songs today, right? Right? This is a great one. Thank you guys for your submissions. I really appreciate it. How do I share this? Share. Copy link! I yawned. Hope the hard drive stuff gets you early. Thank you! It's supposed to get to me like late tomorrow night, so. Sadly, I'll probably be spending most of the day without my hard drives. We'll see. Hope so. Um... Unity! Here is the playlist... ...from today's VGM stream. Yeah, weh, indeed. But I mean, at least my, at least my hard drives are fine. At least I can still get to them. There's a, there's a bright side. Um, I have a couple other things coming too. I have like a, a docking station. Um, and I have uh, like a laptop stand coming. So that I can kind of have it off in the background and just use it as like a second monitor kind of thing. You can play Monopoly against yourself. I could. <laughs> a docking station. So a docking station is like, um... Thank you for streams. You're so very welcome. So welcome. A docking station is something you can like plug your laptop into and you plug... Instead of plugging like the, um... HDMI for your monitor and stuff into your laptop so that when you want to move it around You don't have to unplug like the speakers and the HDMI and the 
all the USBs and whatnot. You can just unplug the laptop from the hub and you can just take it wherever you want. A Thunderbolt kind of setup? I don't know what that is, but yes. <laughs> you can add the playlist to the screen, the screen description too so it doesn't get lost in community posts. Yeah, that's a great idea. Not right now. Yeah, I had them at my... Uh, when I was in OL, I always had a, a, a dock. Well, not always, but... I have had one in the past. Like the thing a switch plugs into. Kind of, yeah. It's just like a bar. It looks like a power bar. I have one of those coming too. Um, and the powered USB hub. Uh, Buckle's cute. Do you guys just know the message? <laughs> yeah, you guys can have a hug. Just give me a minute. Playlist. Some cases, docking stations at extra ports like DVD drives or a secondary hard drive slot too. That would be awesome because I really wanted... Because uh, my my PC that died had a CD, uh, DVD, CD, CD drive. And um, I use it a lot. <laughs> so I just want to be able to like... Listen to my CDs on my PC. So I'm going to need an external one for that too. So a lot of peripherals I got to get. But it is what it is. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna head off for tonight. My throat is starting to bother me a little bit. Tomorrow is my break day, so I will be around on Twitter. I do use this huge... And I, I use it to burn uh, games as well for like Dreamcast and stuff, so... The buckle's cute on your Neopest door flashbang me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, and your submissions. Thank you so much. It was so fun listening to music with you guys again. Oh yeah, hug! Um, thank you so much for coming. Thank you to all my regulars and irregulars and everyone who stopped by for the first time. Thanks so much for giving me a chance. Uh, I hope you come around again. I play retro games. So if that's something you're interested in. Come on down. Uh, thank you to all the VOD watchers and VOD commenters and the chatters and lurkers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and thank you so much to all of my dream weavers and buckles and spiderlings. And uh, all of the... Uh, everyone who uh, donated and gifted memberships and renewed their memberships and joined the memberships for the first time. I uh, appreciate you guys very much. And I'll see you on Monday for more Elden Rolls. <laughs> and uh, yeah, tomorrow's my rest day, but I'll be around on Twitter. Okay. Uh, and uh, hope to see you soon. Hey! Karisamiya! Oyasumiya! Bye bye!